This is a small sample of a human tissue. Medical researchers use such samples to study complex diseases, such as cancer. The more samples they can access, the higher the chances of better understanding the disease and finding new treatments. Here in Austria and across Europe, scientists are now building a new research infrastructure that provides access to tens of millions of human biological samples. People living in developed countries have a higher chance of being diagnosed with colon cancer. Every year there are over one million new cases of a disease which is often difficult to treat. But now biobanks across Europe are collecting carcinoma samples in a European research project called ADOPT. We have here more than 60,000 samples of colon cancer, which is a huge number. But we have uh, almost everything that you can imagine, starting from here uh, to uh, small pieces of a muscle or skin, we have everything. We have also living samples here. So cryopreserved tissue, which is stored in liquid nitrogen in very deep minus temperatures. This tissue is still living and there are some specific um, research questions that you can only answer having a living piece of uh, tissue. Surgery patients donate infected tissue cells for research. The samples are then fixed in formalin processed into thin slices and registered in the database. Researchers can get the necessary data and samples through a joint infrastructure, the BBMRI, that provides access to roughly 200 million samples in European biobanks. The important thing to realize is that the biological samples themselves are typically not sufficient to do the research. You need uh, the information about the patients or the donors in case of cohorts, information about the treatment they were undergoing, possibly about environmental exposure or other things. We're dealing with uh, different types of sensitive human data ranging from uh, clinical data uh, to genomic data. So we're also very conscious of uh, privacy. This automatic device scans thousands of glass slides every day. That provides valuable material for algorithms that can revolutionize medical diagnostics in the near future. There are now completely new ways to examine biological materials. These slides are much more relevant to researchers now that they can be digitized with high-resolution scanners. This makes them crucial in training the algorithms that can recognize morphological changes better than humans. Biobanks can pave the way to a faster diagnosis of colon cancer and other diseases, but also to a more personalized therapy for individual patients. The ultimate goal is to develop new algorithms with a very high accuracy rate, capable of producing a better diagnosis than conventional methods. And this is exactly where we want to go, finding the optimal treatment for patients as fast as possible.